In the human body, there is an energy, quasi-electric in nature, that is called kundalini, also ki or prana. It's the life force that makes us an animate, living organism. Eastern physicians have dealt with kundalini and ki and prana for millennia. During the making of a documentary in Java, the filmmakers met an acupuncturist with remarkable talents. Is it in? You just relax and enjoy it all. He uses acupuncture needles in the traditional points, but with a twist. Through them, he directs a form of electricity, as he calls it. But he doesn't draw the electricity from a wall socket. He claims to generate it within his own body. It was nothing like any acupuncture I'd ever had. I was getting really powerful electric shocks and couldn't control my movements at all. Okay. He says that what he does is no more supernatural than an electric eel which also knows how to harness its yin and yang energies. Yin yang, positive and negative, you know. Mm -hmm. And my positive from here, and my negative from here. Mm -hmm. And we meet together, this can get uh, like electricity. And is this because you're special, you have a special sort of... Uh, uh, it's body? meditation every day. It's meditation that does it? Meditation every day. Like a yoga. Uh -huh. But I study about 18 years. 18 years. 18 years from, from, from my before. Through meditation and practice, he had learned to harness the electrical currents in his body to the point that he could give another person a shock. This is nothing, okay? This is my brain. Uh, it's like this. <laughs> Our sound recordist, Simi, was okay. skeptical at first. <laughs> <laughs> Later, he told us that anybody could learn this. God had given us all the yin-yang polarity, but it takes discipline and meditation to awaken and control it. And you must be very aware of your emotions. This energy can be dangerous. It can kill as well as heal. Then he asked for our newspaper. Whatever he had done to our newspaper, it's how he had healed my eyes that made me wonder. What do these people living in the shadows of the volcanoes still know that we of the West have forgotten?